Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and for today's video I decided to do a draw my life video. So we are taking it back to where it all began. It all started in 1985 when my parents met. Um, they worked together. My dad was 17 and my mum was 21. They didn't start dating until about 1992 when they were 24 and 28 because my mum thought my dad was way too young for her. Um, they got married in October of 1995 and I was born 16 months later on the 26th of February 1997 in the Mater Hospital. When I was 18 months, I would spend three days out of every week up in Calandra with my grandparents so my parents could um, work. In January of 1999, a month and a half before my second birthday, my brother Jake was born. I loved being a big sister. My brothers, uh, <laughs> my parents, sorry, used to joke that he was going to live, wasn't going to live very long because I would always squeeze him so tight when I'd hug him. I was late with my talking. I didn't start talking until I was three, so Jake and I were practically learning to talk at the same time. He was one and I was three. In early 2001, when I was just four years old, I ended up hurting my back going down a slide that it has led to me having a bad back ever since. If you want to hear the whole story, I did a story time on it. I will leave the link in the, uh, in the description. In May of 2001, my brother Tyson was born, which disappointed me for the fact that I really wanted a baby sister and I knew my parents didn't want any more kids. I don't mind that I don't have any sisters now, as if um, I didn't, I don't think I would be as close to my mum as what I am today. In 2002, I started preschool at such a wonderful primary school. I always loved school so much. I had a lot of friends over the years, but by the end of primary school, my main friends were Amy, Niv, Raquel, Danielle, and Sophie. I started tap dancing at the age of six with one of my best friends at the time, Jay, at a dancing place called Loud. After a year, after a year, Loud closed down, so I went to another dance school called Kimberly Woodger Dance Academy, and Jay went somewhere else. There, I did baby beginners tap, junior beginners tap, and jazz. It didn't last very long, as I kept getting sick and had to have a lot of time off, so it wasn't worth the effort. At some point in primary school, I don't remember what age I was when I did this, but I also gave softball a go, which lasted all of one Saturday, and netball, which didn't last very long either. Um, in 2006, when I was nine years old, my auntie Christine was diagnosed with breast cancer and she passed away in September of 2009, five days after her birthday. I started high school in 2010. I wasn't a huge fan of my high school as I really struggled with school and didn't get any higher than a C until I got to grade 11 when I got to choose my own subjects, which was the best. I loved all my teachers and made some new friends, Janae, Lainey and Astrid. I hung around these three girls all of high school. I was still friends with Amy from my primary school, but she didn't go to the same high school. I was bullied throughout all of my schooling, which was really hard for me, but I was lucky enough to have my friends and family around me to help me through it. When I left school, I did a six month web design course I was the only girl in my class. It wasn't my favourite thing in the world. Um, I learned a lot doing this course and everything, but I came to realise I wanted nothing to do with web design. While doing this course in 2015, I started working on a Saturday and Sunday at the local rugby union club. 
I did this for two years. In November of 2015, I started my nannying job. I started doing casual babysitting, like a lot of teenage girls, um, when I was 14, but started it full time when I got a job with a family of five, which turned into a family of six in 2017. I have now been looking after these kids, one girl and three boys, for nearly four years, and I'm still loving it. In January of this year, I did a short three week medical administration course with Marta Education, and I absolutely loved it. I'm not sure when, when, but when I do eventually stop nannying, this is exactly what I want to do with my life. I started my YouTube channel in 2014, just uploading singing videos, which turned into making lyric videos and celebrity videos, which turned into doing challenge videos with my best friend Amy in 2017. And then I started vlogging in 2018 and my following has grown to over 50,000 subscribers. I'm so blessed for all of you wonderful people. Thank you so much for putting up with me. And that is my life so far. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you in the next video. Bye.